Sega mascots. Hello. Thank you for coming to see the presentation I have for you today. This presentation is about the mascots of Sega, their origins, what they did in their time of being mascot and, when another mascot took over, when they appeared after being mascot, E.G. cameos. Okay, enough rambling from me. Enjoy. Sonic the Hedgehog is the current mascot of Sega. First appearing in 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog is a fun-loving speedster who is carefree and loves adventure. As I have mentioned, Sonic the Hedgehog appeared in 1991 with his first game, Sonic the Hedgehog, where he has to defeat Dr. Rivo Robotnik with the six Chaos Emeralds. This was later changed to seven Chaos Emeralds in later games. The game was extremely popular and ended up giving Mario a run for his money. He mostly starred in video games but has also starred in TV shows, a movie, and another movie coming up this year, and couple of comic series. He has been going strong for 30 years now. I'm proud of the dude. So, there's Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go back in time to 1986 for our next mascot. Alex Kidd is one of four former mascots of Sega. Released in 1986, Alex Kidd is a heroic boy with monkey-like features, and I'm a simp for him which is a bonus. Alex Kidd's first game was Alex Kidd in Miracle World 1986 where Alex Kidd is a young Aryan boy who was royal birth but he was separated from his parents at birth. For years, Alex Kidd learns the art of shellcore, which is a form of willpower which makes you able to smash pure stone with your bare hands. On his way back home from an errand, he finds a dying man who explains to Alex about Jankin the Great and his takeover. Alex was then told that he was royal birth and he needed to save his family. He was given a map and a medallion to help him on his journey. Alex then sets off to save his family, but he didn't find his father on his journey. In result of this, his brother, Egle becomes king of Rodaxian whilst Alex becomes defender of the city. This game was really popular for its time but his later games weren't as good as his first game, therefore causing his downfall and then for Sonic the Hedgehog to take over after him. After Sonic takes over, Alex does have some cameos. For example, he appears in Sonic and All-Stars Racing and Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing Transformed. I am a simp for him though, as I have explained already. Now, we need to get to our next mascot. Obioba is the one of four former mascots of Sega. Released in 1986, Obioba is a small green and red spaceship with small white wings. He was only mascot for a few months but he was pretty popular, especially in the arcades. His first game was Fantasy Zone. It features Obioba flying around defeating little enemies before he fights the bosses. The final boss of the game is Obioba's father. Once Obioba's father is defeated, there is a small story part where Opa Opa questions whether or not what he did was right. Then, the game is completed. This game was originally released in the arcades but also got a port for the Sega Master System as well. Opa Opa was taken over by Alex Kidd in November 1986 after this game but his series continued until around 1991. Opa Opa also appeared in later years in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. He also got a revival game in 2015. That's all I have to say for Opa Opa. Now, let's move on to our next mascot. Dr. Games is one out of four Sega mascots. First seen in 1984, he seems to be an old, friendly scientist with a walking stick. However, Dr. Games was not a video game mascot. He was a mascot that appeared in the help booklets that you see in the video games manual. Dr. Games appeared in quite a few manuals. For example, Champion Boxing, Hustle Chumi, and Othello. Dr. Games was only a temporary replacement for our next mascot who I will soon get to. Dr. Games is now an obscure mascot who appears in limited amounts of merchandise. That's all I have to say for Dr. Games. Now, let's talk about the first ever mascot of Sega. Professor Isabin is the first mascot of Sega. First seen in 1983, Professor Isabin is a small rabbit with a suit, monocle and a top hat and he seems to have been modeled by the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He, also, was not a video game mascot. 
He came from the manuals in the video games. Professor Isselbin became mascot twice, with Dr. Games being